Okay, a lot of concerns being raised in the opening comments being made by our guests. That brings me to the next specific question we're putting on this New Delhi-Washington debate. Has the Headley affair sullied the mood before Obama's visit? And I put this question first to Chandan Mitra. There's been a lot of talk now about how the Home Minister is trying to play down the fissures. But the fact is, it's left a bitter taste in Delhi's mouth. How important is it, reflective of the fact that Obama and his government is prepared to help you, but when it comes to their own war against Afghanistan and in Pakistan, they're prepared to keep information away from you? Well, I think you've pointed to the absolutely what I think is the central issue in this whole issue, uh, matter of terrorism. It is obvious that America will prioritize its own battle on terrorism over our battle against terrorism. But here there is a conflict of interest. The conflict of interest is that in the American perception, Pakistan is an ally in the war against terror, whereas India believes that Pakistan is not just a conduit, it is often the fountainhead of terror that is happening in this country. So uh, this attempt by the Americans to kind of play down the Pakistan's uh, role in fomenting terrorism in Afghanistan and cross-border terrorism here in Jammu and Kashmir, uh, America tries to um, paper over these things. And that's why the, 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 these concerns that on the issue of Headley, for instance, it, we don't know who's speaking the truth. The Home Secretary said the other day, and I think he was very categorical, that uh, America did not give us the entire range of information. And the Home Minister is now trying to play it down on the eve because, you know, trying to, uh, in a sense, uh, suggest that Mr. Pillai has a habit of shooting his mouth off. Whereas I feel that Mr. Pillai actually says the blunt truth. And this is also part of a strategy that he should speak the truth. And thereafter, let there be a cover up. So at least so the Sachin point is So is this about the government trying to play good cop, bad cop at the same time? Where we've got GK Pillai coming out speaking the blunt truth and then Chidamram getting into damage control. And how important is the Headley affair likely to be in the scheme of things as India and Pak and India and America talk about fighting terrorism together? I think uh, Chandan Mitra is uh, very creative in uh, trying to analyze the situation as he uh, perhaps sees it. Uh, but the fact of the matter is that there has been exchange of information and data. And terrorism has uh, finally, not just in the US, but around the world, been recognized as a problem which India has been saying for more than a decade and a half. And there is a genuine realization, I think, <coughs> in the US administration and um, uh, in the political circles in Washington that we need to combat this menace collectively. Uh, and his, the President's visit to Mumbai and visiting the sites that were attacked in, uh, on 26-11 is certainly going to uh, reaffirm the commitment that both countries have to uh, combating this. Uh, to my mind, in the future, we have to really, not just with the U.S., but with other countries and other uh, political powers around the world, really have that kind of faith and connectivity so that we are able to uh, you know, work together uh, to be able to deal with this. And I think that there is no uh, uh, dilution from the India's uh, standpoint in terms of terrorism. We will not accept any attack on Indian citizens or acts of terror, especially from the ones that are uh, supposedly emanating from across the border, there's been very categorical statements by the Prime Minister himself, and there is no concession on that front. I mean, that's the battle we will fight to the finish. There okay. is some commitment in the UPA for that and across the country. So, whatever it is, we will deal with it. Uh, the, the cooperation with the US is, is well received, well appreciated, but this is a battle uh, that we have to fight on our own, and we will leave no stone unturned uh, to win this battle.